What's going on guys? Uh, today I got a great gameplay for you. I've been posting straight bangers and today is no different than the others. Today we're going to be playing the number one guy on the Mutt Xbox head-to-head -head leaderboards. Madden League Ops aka Joel CP. His gamer tag is Madden League Ops. It's pretty funny honestly. We matched up with him like I want to say uh, over the weekend and it was a straight hell game. Came down to the final play. This is a gameplay you guys are going to want to watch till the end. If you do enjoy these type of gameplays and content, tips, any type of stuff like this, please leave a like, sub, and you know, maybe tell a friend. Because I got straight bangers, all Madden 22. Let's get in the gameplay. As you guys see right here, Madden League Ops is number one on the Mutt leaderboards on Xbox, 106 and 32 record. That's pretty crazy, man. He's been grinding Madden 22 like no one else has. To add it all up, I believe he has like 138 games played already, which is insane. Um, and you know, take it into account uh, compared to everyone else's games. You know, the next highest played is like 110 or 100, you know, 20. We are currently at number eight, guys. You know, we started off a little shaky. At one point, you know, I want to say it was like 40 and eight or something, uh, 48 and eight. And we've been on a 20 game win streak. So, you know, I've kind of clicking. I know it's very hard to, you know, click in this type of game where defense is super tough to play. But, you know, I feel like I've finally, I've been finding my groove. Catch it on the streams, man, and see how I'm playing because I usually do stream my mutt head-to-head -head games. But yeah, man, he's averaging 21 points a game, 15 av uh, against. And, you know, um, those numbers aren't gonna stay high forever. My numbers are currently 25 and 14, but, you know, it's only because I have less games played than him. So with all that said, go check him out. Joel, I'll leave some links in the description. A great guy, uh, one of my favorite people to watch. And, you know, just an awesome dude. One of my friends, honestly, I could say. He was streaming this game at the time we played him. Now, onto the gameplay. As you see right here, guys, Madden League Ops in that top right corner. Um, he's rocking the Steelers unis. I'll be rocking the Raiders unis. And we do get ball first, and we are playing in Saints Dome. Uh, that's my stadium. I chose Saints. You know, I'll probably end up picking Vegas in a little bit, but Saints is just good lighting, and it's a dome. You don't want to uh, have any of your games affected by, you know, kicking field goals or PATs or, you know, uh, kickoffs in the wind because there are quite frequent. Uh, there has been quite frequently uh, kick returns for touchdowns. I've gotten a couple of them with Dion. I see right here, I'm just setting up some audibles, going to my favorite, going to my recent plays. In this gameplay, man, um, there's no defense going to be played at all. I'm giving you fair warning. Uh, honestly, that's just how it is at this time and moment, you know, until we get that patch, hopefully to address those zones and all that. That's how it's going to be. See right here, I'm going to be rocking the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. And then on defense, uh, I'll be rocking the Miami Dolphins defensive playbook. I don't know what playbooks Joel are in. All I know is he's running tight flex on offense, which is super high powered, man. Tight is extremely effective in this game with how the zones are and, you know, how, you know, there's really no blitzes. And then on defense, as you see, he's running one, four, six is right there. We hit verticals crosser to Lance Allworth. You know, I have mixed feelings about Lance Allworth. You know, some plays, some days he's really glitchy. You know, he gets that spin move. Um, and then other days he's just, you know, not getting his feet in bounds or dropping sideline catches. So it's mixed emotions for me. Mixed feelings is right here. We are going to take off. That was actually pretty good defense. I can't lie. He had a good user on that left side to cover that drag. Maybe could have fumbled, but, you know, I hardly see people fumbling, especially with their quarterbacks in this game. And right here, guys, we are going to be running a little bit of curl flat. Um, it's just basically Z spot trying to attack this right side. And we kind of get bumped up, which is a little annoying. But nonetheless, it's an easy dot. And we get all the way down to the 10. And this, guys, is where it could get tricky, man. You want to score every time you're in the red zone. Um, like I said, a lot of these things I'm saying are, you know, in this current state of the game. As right there, we had B open. He ran cover two. And you know how those cloud flats and deep pass react. Uh, B was open. I think I had maybe A open. But, you know, I saw that. I decided to throw it away. Um, just live for the next play. Live for the next down. This time, I'm looking towards the right. And, you know, it's covered up pretty well. But boom, we hit Raheem Mostert getting, you know, that rack animation is so 50-50, man. Some plays you love it. Some plays it could just, you know, honestly uh, hurt you super, super bad. Right there is one of the cases where we got the beautiful rack kind of, you know, maneuvered our way behind his D defensive uh, players and, you know, end up getting seven. So here we go, man. First play on offense for Joel, and he is running this tight flex, man. And like I said, it's super high-powered. 
Um, I'm gonna kind of try to break it down like why it's so high power one of the main reasons is you know as you saw right there He calls hikes so fast a lot of these routes in place are already pre you know built You know and you have to do like one hot route maybe two and right there. Here's another one This play is called cross this play. I mean, this is probably his best play in my opinion Everyone knows the PA uh, shot play with the crosser route and you know the the dual crossing routes um, but that play right there, honestly, I have so much trouble defending it because it's just such an easy quick hike play. You have a running back wheel. You have two easy drags. It's right here. This is his uh, favorite play by far. But, you know, I feel like I have pretty good defense for it right there. Maybe that could have been a user pick if I had like Acrobat. But nonetheless, you know, we're making him work for it. You know, that's what we want at the end of the day. He's now coming near the red zone area where it might get a little tougher to uh, throw easy dots compared to, you know, midfield area. It's right here. We're going to try to send the dogs and... No one's coming in, man. I hate when that happens. He sent out five. I even engaged with the uh, O-line. And, you know, like, I don't know if it was a play action that caused it, but my guys kind of bumped into each other. Nonetheless, I'm pretty sure, I guarantee he was able, going to be able to hit that route before the pressure was going to come in. But, you know, uh, see right here, he is just dialing it up super, super fast. Right there, I think he took a little bit of time because, like I said, he was streaming, so maybe he was reading his chat. But there goes OJ Howard again. And... I'm having trouble defending this set. So, you know, it's hard to run man versus tight. You know, Mabel zones will work, but it's just so much stuff underneath. And, you know, blitzing in this game is not a guarantee. Usually with tight, you could usually blitz it and, you know, it'll get the job done. It's right here. User is bad. Uh, I get bumped up on a couple guys, which is pretty annoying. Uh, none, otherwise, besides that, that was a nice little bag I had going on for me. Um, just couldn't get there. It's right here, guys. We go into our arsenal of plays and decide to run a little bit of smash return. I know it was a little choppy right there, but boom, we get that OJ Howard in traffic, and I can't wait to get George Kittle, guys. I'm currently at like in the 40s of levels. Let me know if you guys are level 50. Um, I just personally would rather play the game than grind. It's right here. We're going to hit OJ Howard again, and he, ha I believe that was a five or a zero hard flat, and he sent the dog. So, you know, you know, you, you do have to get a little aggressive this year if you want to get a stop or if you want to blitz. And that right there, you know, maybe if he had Acrobat or maybe if he was pressed up even because he's not pressed as you see. Maybe if he was pressed up, that could have been a pick. It's right here. We are going to hit Randy Moss up the seams. And you know that's seven. Uh, Randy Moss, man, he is an absolute dog. If you got him in that pre-order bonus, uh, you definitely should be able to play him like day one, week one. He's such a budget beast. He's free, obviously, if you got that super edition of Madden. He's like 87 speed, six foot four. You know, I wish he was a little faster because it feels like even 90 speed with those strategy items, he'd be up to 92 or, you know, 91-ish and he would be playing on everyone's team. But, you know, maybe that's a good thing for me because I'm not trying to deal with those high ball ags because uh, I've seen him do some things. Right here, guys, uh, first and 10, Joel is in the middle of the field. And right here, we actually have really good defense. For actually once, we had really good defense. I don't know what that was or what happened. Um, because that there's going to be none of that for the rest of the game somehow, some way. But right there, everything just seemed to click. All the zones were doing their job. My user was in perfect position. And right here, we try to replicate it again. And we are not going to be able to. It's right here. Um, it was an open pass, but, you know, he gets a throw on the run and accurate. That's something with Josh Allen being only 84 overall that will happen sometimes. He gets a lot of under pressures. He gets a lot of throw on the run and accurates. And, you know, just wait till we get super QBs, man. There's just going to be no stopping anyone because a lot of these stops come from quarterbacks just missing throws. It's right here. We're going to run the same type of defense again. And that's on me, man. I had a kind of bad user, but, you know, the right side of the field there had a couple routes. And that was my one chance to get a stop. I definitely feel like... If I were to play it back, I would blitz. Um, but this is something I like to do a lot when I play something I'm having trouble with doing. You know, uh, playing against, I should say, like an offense or defense. I like to spam things to see, okay, how good is that actually, you know? Could I run that, you know, two, three plays in a row without, you know, it being, you know, beat? But in reality, if you're spamming defensive plays, it's going to be so easy to beat. It's right here. We're still in this cover four. No way I run cover three um, versus tight. Cover three is just so hard to, you know... Uh, Unless you're running Mabel, it's so hard to play defense and cover three because you have those bomb glitches. Everything just seems to be open. Right now, he's playing it perfectly. That draw play call was a nice play call. I thought I had him in the backfield, but I feel like McCaffrey's so fast, like sneaky fast. Like it doesn't even make sense. It's right here, another pass to OJ Howard. And my Deion Sanders is just sitting there, just, just looking out into the distance. Uh, I have Acrobat on him. Maybe got to 
put on some more zone abilities or something if I want him to play that. He's right here, we're gonna be running cover four again with that three rec, and this time he is gonna be able to hit that crossing route. And you know, I'm, it's whatever, man. I had a bad user, but I'm kind of fine with that because he's in the red zone now, and I'm guaranteed to get the ball back before half. It's right here, man. If you're gonna wanna blitz, this is a place to blitz, it's right here. Uh, he runs draw again, and I don't think draw is gonna be you know his money maker if he had like an inside zone read option that'd probably be better in my opinion but who knows man he knows a better offense better than me right here once more we're gonna send the dogs and this is a nice little bag we got going on uh we send the heat and i don't know what happened or you know where my pressure was but it came in kind of delayed nonetheless we will take it here's a big third down and goal and you already know he's gonna go for it he has ball at half he's kind of free rolling this um if we get a stop right here i feel i could comfortably say you know I think we win this game because I've been able to drive down with ease. It's right here. He's just going to playmaker this guy up, and he gets way too many yards. He runs into a hit stick. Maybe not a hit stick, but he runs into Lorenzo Carter tackle. And, man, oh, man, if I had a chance to run that back, I'd absolutely hit stick him, get my fumble, and probably be GG's from there. But here we go, man. Biggest play of the game thus far. Fourth down and goal. We're trying to blitz. We have pretty good coverage. Look at this defensive setup right here. We back off our soft squad survives. Pressure comes in. He throws it right in front of our whole team. And OJ Howard's gonna dance on us to make it even worse. Like a big bra moment. I had a soft, I had a quarter there. I had a vert hook there. And no one, no one could guard it somehow. Like I literally don't know how that was even caught to this day. 11 play drive, 74 yards. We're making them work for it, but we're still one play behind one stop away um you know this game is still tied we could definitely get some points before half but man that was a that was such a heartbreaker right there to be so close to get a stop and you know we got dion on the move give us a nice field position try to get seven right here because he does get ball a half it's right here guys we are going to be running a little bit of uh a little bit of not if a little bit of smash return and he had a nice bag for that i maybe had the in route coming in but, you know, I saw the pressure. I decided to throw it away because, you know, if we get sacked right here, he gets ball at half. We're going to be looking, uh, you know, at a disadvantage. But right here, like I said, he's running a lot of bit of cover too. And we see that. And boom, we hit Tyree Kill. Can we be gone? Stephon Gilmore, Tyree Kill. And yes, we're gone. And that's huge, man. That's very, that's very huge. I mean, he still has 46 seconds, but I will take a touchdown any day of the week. Maybe should have fell down, but who knows? Who cares? And honestly, I know it sucks to like play defense in this game. It's so hard, but it's right here. You know, he, I don't know how this is open. Nonetheless, a dot. I can't even hate. Devontae Smith gets his feet in bounds as well. That was a baseline press quarter, and the crosser just flies over it. Um, like I said, though, I know it's like you don't want to be on defense ever, but I do enjoy learning the game and trying to get stops, even though if it's super hard, even though we know like there's going to be a patch eventually. It's super fun to play defense for me always because I feel like, you know, I just want to learn and be able to stop someone, uh, you know, learn, okay, this does this, this backs that, this blitz is crazy versus this formation, uh, zone drops help this formation, zone drops don't. I love all that type of stuff. And offense, I feel like it's kind of the same thing, but, you know, there's only a limited amount of plays and adjustments you could do on offense. It's right here. He's going to throw this crosser and bro. Where are you going, Sneed? Sneed is running backwards. My baseline press quarter is running backwards. Otherwise, I feel like that could have been a nice defense. But there you go, man. I think he scored in like 18 seconds or something crazy like that. <sighs> I cannot get a stop. And right there, guys, I probably should have definitely blitzed. I think I maybe blitzed one or two plays and they didn't come home. But right here, we're going to hit Randy Moss. And this is where you need your speed because I definitely felt like I could have made a move and maybe been out of there if i had like jamar chase there or someone else but nonetheless we are going to settle for three we're going to settle for a lead at half even though he does get ball out of half He's right here guys same thing baseline press cover four with a three wreck and bro sneed is giving that up man that's insane i do try to make adjustment after that play i'm like yeah i seen enough i gotta move him back or do something but cover four man cover three it doesn't matter that crosser is still getting open is right here you're gonna see me move sneed back a couple steps to see if that's gonna help me but once i do that it's gonna open up something else very soon is right here once more he's gonna hit this flat route and i feel like he got way too many yards i was like a five uh curl curl flat as you saw right there i felt like you know if i held him to like five yards or even a couple you know like six yards maybe i would have been fine with that but eight yards a little too much for my liking 
right here once more i'm moving my guy sneed back and boom that opens up that corner out right there to oj howard and you know that's the game of chess man you do one thing to stop one thing um and then the corner out is going to be open and when i mean when i mean one thing for one thing i mean you know that move that quarter move that zone deep zone back to you know stop that crosser it's going to open up something else it's right here look at that vert hook out doing absolutely nothing um i knew every time i was blitzing he was able to dot that up for easy crossing route and i'm like you know what i'm not going to baseline press anymore uh every time i do that and i blitz it's just not getting home right here we are going to blitz the dogs i know it was a little choppy right there excuse me for that and once more no pressure but this honestly I, this was a time where like i wasn't able to get like pressure um because i didn't know what to do you know, you know, in the beginning, it's kind of hard. You got to stand in certain spots, hover in certain spots. Uh, I want to say, you know, I know something now, but who knows, man? Tight flex really might be that crack. It's right here. It gets a little choppy. Sorry about that. But he's able to hit that drag. My user just was not there. Right here, guys. He's going to run draw again. And we stop him with Aaron Donald. Like I said, man, I, I actually enjoy when people run like inside zones or bases because I'm not gonna lie, my guys are shedding. Aaron Donald does not have any time for those type of play calls. It's right here, he's gonna, I need to rewind that, there's no way. It's right here guys, he's gonna go with a quick snap. It's a little choppy again, but he's just gonna hit R1 on that flat. And I, I don't know why it was choppy, uh, so forgive me for that, but he, it's a big fourth and four right here, man. I probably should call a timeout definitely probably should call a timeout but you know in this game you need your timeouts he's right here we almost get some fluky pressure off the left side and he's gonna just take up off the middle i wanted to spy i swear i'm like you know what i need to have a spy this play joel is one of those guys could get that could get outside the pocket and make some havoc um i thought initially he was going to go to that right corner route like he had done earlier in this drive but you know he just took it up the middle with josh allen who has like 83 or 80 speed or something like that it's a smart play call um just easy easy reads for him so right there man we did have him we we have held him to two fourth downs at least in the red zone you know i don't know how much that counts the second one i, I don't think i had that much of a chance of stopping him i had bad user i was kind of just caught off guard with the no huddle the first one definitely should have been a stop but you know we are still in this game um we could easily get seven but look at that man my my routes are disordered right here this is going to help us a lot we still had djax at this time we have jamar chase now but yeah man he's he has this momentum my routes are super disordered i'm not it's like it hurts to look at honestly see right here i'm gonna hold my play art up um i decided to run here because you know i'm not trying to see that try to get some of that momentum back on our side but you know the only way we're gonna get it back on our side is if we score seven it's right here man it even happens on runs i don't know if you saw that or not we decided to run once more try to take a little bit of clock we had numbers, man. We had, I, I don't know if you guys saw that. I got a nice little pancake on, pancake on his user. And we had numbers, but I kind of stopped for some reason. But, you know, it's all good. I'm trying to just take some of this clock back. I want the ball last. I don't, there's no way I'm going to be able to clock four minutes of this time. You see right here, man, my routes are disordered once more. But, you know, we're fine. Uh, it could be worse. It's right there. We had R1 up that seam, up that crosser. And we saw that, man. Trust me, we saw that. We're probably going to go back to that in a second or at least try to look for it is once more verticals is the play call we have on true clock boom he blitzes everyone he kind of makes a nice user play with gilmore but you know nonetheless he's not able to get there and i understand what he's doing at this time of moment he wants the ball back he's trying to get aggressive and i felt like i played this terribly i should have scored fast um to have more time at the end because we all know man we all know, man, it's it's going to be like, you know, Joel's probably going to get points in this drive. The question is, can we get points? Once more, we're in verticals, and we still have disordered routes. And this is actually, look at this, man. I don't, I held up the screen for a second. Um, and it, you know, if you do that sometimes, it actually glitches out. We decided to run the ball with Chris Carson. We actually get pretty good yards for Chris Carson being like however fast he is but man i see that you cannot do that anymore we accidentally hold up our play art again but you know we thankfully don't get the glitch it's right here we are looking for randy moss and ooh, 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 that was a risky read i had the little hitch on the left side and i don't know why i didn't take it but you know here we go man a big fourth down and four that definitely probably should have been a pick acrobat like once in a while it will acrobat and you will get the animation but for the most part, it actually, you know, usually it doesn't do that, which, you know, I, I kind of want it to be in the middle part where, you know, it wasn't as OP as last year, but it's not as bad as it is this year. It's right here. We are going to hit 
OJ Howard up the right seam, verticals. Let's go, OJ Howard. Uh, that was a tight, honestly, pretty tight throw, tighter than it needed to be. I lowballed it. I don't know why. It's just a force of habit. But here we go, man. Two minutes and 23 seconds is a lifetime in this game to get, you know, only even three. Joel only needs three, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm hoping we can obviously get a stop at, at the worst case scenario. I want him to, you know, either score with a lot of time remaining or, you know, get held to three. But, man, I told you guys, this game was everything you wanted to see. Here we go. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. We're going to be still running the same defense we've been running all day, trying to get a stop. Um, I really hate the way I play defense this game. I feel like I'm a bot running the same stuff over and over again. And I'll have those days, man. But right here, it looks like a bag. Everything's covered up. But boom, he's just able to hit a drag for like 20 yards. That's crazy, man. I had a contain on that right side too. But, you know, we're not, we're not mad. We got to, you know, move on to the next play. I believe this was also my playoffs, man. So, you know, this is going to hurt if we get the L. It's right here, man. Like, bro, you can't be able to throw that. Maybe I should put on like some safeties or maybe run 4-6. I might have to try that, man. Be on the lookout for that. Because that right there was not cool. Lorenzo Carter just literally, that was a 5 curl flat and he's not doing anything. So be on the lookout for maybe some 4-6 gameplay. It's right here. We are going to try to send the dogs again. We jumped the right flat, but OJ Howard been killing us on that slant drag, whatever it is. For four quarters this game and he's 23 to 26 i believe my stat line is probably just as good but man this tight flex is super high powered right here we're gonna try to scream again no pressure and there goes oj howard we make a tackle and bounce but man there's a little bit of time remaining this is where we gotta get stingy man i don't know this is not looking good for your boy and i don't know if you guys saw that oj howard has 11 catches for 145 yards when when joel gets kittle or o kyle pitts he is gonna be unstoppable i feel like right here he goes back to his favorite guy again oj howard and how do you stop this guy he's running the ball he's passing it to him he's doing everything he's trucking my team at least the next time I play Joel, because you know what's going to happen eventually. I know who he likes to go to the most, and that guy is OJ Howard or whoever his tight end will be next time. It's right here. We get in our goal line defense, hook curls, vert hooks, and the hook curl matched. I don't know why it matched. Um, I didn't think it was going to match, but look at that, man. He was on conservative. I was in his chat listening, like, uh, you know, after the plays, I'd tune in, maybe see, like, what, what his reactions were. He was in the chat saying, I'm on conservative. You can't slide. And yes, guys, that's a big thing in this game where you are not able to sometimes dive to the ground if you're on conservative. That's a huge issue that hopefully they do fix because, um, you know, that game winning scenario like that, Joel could have iced the game by going on the one and then, you know, scoring a couple plays later, taking some more time. But look at this, man. I have so much time now. Terrible kick return. I probably shouldn't have taken it out. Just a terrible idea. I took away too much time. I took four seconds away, which is a lot of time in this game. But like I was saying, man, uh, we hit stick him in the end zone because he was not able to slide. A huge hit stick by Snead. Uh, but the hook curl matched. I thought he was going to guard that hitch on that right side. Bad user play by myself. And here we go, man. The screen is shaking. Disordered hot routes. This is what you guys want to see. We're going to go to Moss up the seam. I, I, like the crosser route is so good. So OP. I probably should have hit Mostert and got out of bounds because, man, that was a bad play call now that I think about it. I could have waited to throw that uh, crossing route and got way more yards than I could have. But, you know, yards is yards at the end of the day. Right here, you know what we're going to again. We got to go to the play verticals. We're trying to throw that streak up the middle, and he's going to use it. So we have R1 open, but boom, Aaron Donald makes a big-time shed. If I get that play, I'm going to run out of bounds and I have a lot of time remaining to, you know, dot up from like the 20-ish, 30-ish yard line, which is you could throw dots from there. Right here, we're going back to the same play, verticals again, and boom, we throw a dot, we rack it. Look at that. It said catch and run, and I got that bad rack animation that I was talking about earlier. And here we go, man. Two seconds from the 20, the 19-yard line. But I just, like, that was so wild, man. I thought I was going to get a nice rack animation, run out of bounds. And have you know 15 to you know whatever however many seconds i would have had but now it comes down to this final play we are going to be coming out in y curl we still have this the sorted hot routes um the screen is not shaking anymore and you know this is the play we're trying to hit this right seam it's not open the left guy is open maybe and we throw it to tyree kill 
but we get hawked down and tackled. I don't know the spin maneuver yet. 15 for 20, 357 yards, four touchdowns. GG's in the chat to Joel. Came down to the last play. And I want to say, guys, I really do want to say I had this one route. See right there, he was just dotting. We were both dotting up. No one could get a stop. Right here, guys, we had this uh, crossing route. We rack caught it. You saw me hold rack. And, you know, I could have maybe got tackled. You never know. Um, but I definitely get out of bounds right there. I definitely get out of bounds. But here is the game. The, the dot for the bread. And we have Moss. I, don't, I guess you guys could say this is like right there. If you want to throw it right there. You're going to rack it into the end zone. The zones aren't going to play that. Just a bad, you know, just me not running that play enough cost me the game. The right side was bagged up. I could have maybe even threw it to OJ Howard and undercut him. But right there is where you want to throw it. Right in that sweet spot. Maybe with a low ball. And that's it, boys. So GG's in the chat to Joel, man. Go check him out. My man is number one on the Mutt leaderboards. He streams daily. It's a good guy right there to check out and follow on all his platforms. I know he has a YouTube as well. I know we'll catch another game sometime soon, but that game right there came down to the wire. The last play, just a great game, honestly. Uh, I know we got the loss, but, you know, it's super fun to play in those games, win or lose. Till next time, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this number one mutt gameplay versus the number one guy. I'll have some more gameplay content on the way soon. Stay up, boys.